contractors, like within like five miles of him, are getting that I'm working with, yeah. and kind of show you the differences because you basically told me ROI is going to be the most important thing. Yeah. So what I'm going to show you is like, okay, I'm working with these businesses that do the exact same thing that Ali does, and they're advertising on Yelp, and they're getting like an eight or nine to one return on investment, and it really the only thing that you and I would need to discuss is. How much business does he need, and what types of jobs does he want? Got it. Okay. Um, okay. if you don't mind me asking, like, like, what is the, like, how does it, like, the user experience actually work? Like, so for example, okay, for Google, for example, would be like, all right, the homeowners search it for roofing Bronx. They see people in the top of the maps. They see people in maybe uh-huh. in organic, and then they, you know, okay. you have a chance to being clicked because you're up at the top and um, you know then they check you out and possibly give you a call and when it comes to Yelp how how is that laid out okay so Yelp is going to do a couple things so before we get into that what why don't you tell me because I want to make sure I explain everything as, as uh, like I guess detailed as possible what do you think the differences are between Google and Yelp what what okay. Um, I would say Google would be you know people don't even think that they're using a company to search. They kind of think like this is the way to search, right? They look for. This is the internet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, they think like this is the internet. They search for a roofer, let's say, and um, you know then they'll get people who are at the top get checked out a lot. If they're looking for something specific, I guess they will sometimes you know read a bit more in depth um uh basically like you know title tags if people are actually saying like oh i was looking for a flat roofer let me the first couple three don't have flat roofing in there like you know maybe the sixth one does that that way the sixth one maybe will get so that's the idea with that and with yelp in my understanding um yelp is really great with brand name searches starting with i don't know like i, I, I don't know um, much how much it changes but the last time i knew uh, so basically, if people are looking for, like, say, uh, what do you call, like, Atlas Roofing USA, right? Maybe they got okay. referred or, um, you know, nowadays how people don't just call. Like, even if you're passing out flyers, they find a flyer on the doorstep. They don't just like, oh, okay, roofer. They don't call. They just check you out, make sure you're safe. And when they're checking you out, they type in your business name, right? So they will type in literally at less roofing USA and see what comes up. Now at that point, it's a different level of game. It's about okay. the directories that come up. Yelp has stars, Google has stars, maybe Home Advisor has stars, and maybe a right. couple other, and that would increase the chance of them making that call and going through with it. I think that's where it starts helping with Yelp, um, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, that's pretty much no, what I know. You're, you're on the right track. It's, I mean, there's really no wrong answer. I, I was really asking the question just to kind of gauge where your thought process was. Okay. So, uh, as a follow-up question for you, so, so basically you said, okay, people can start on Google and really not even know that they're using Google. They just think Google's the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, and that being said, I want to ask you a follow-up question. So, finding a business is one reason you can go to Google, right? Mm-hmm. That's, that's one reason. Is that the only reason that somebody would go to Google to find a business? No. Okay. Just to make sure I answer. So, because in my mind, Google, like, you literally could go to Google for a million different reasons. Mm-hmm. And Google is basically a place you go to to find other information, search engine. Yeah. One thing you can do on Google is find another business. Mm-hmm. So now that I asked you that question to kind of get that frame of reference, what is Yelp used for? Yelp, well... I mean, Yelp is used for to find businesses. Is yeah. it used for anything else? Usually, no. <laughs> okay. That, actually, I've never heard somebody say usually. So what? I what other possible reason would somebody have to go on to Yelp besides to find a local business? Like, for example, sometimes I use Yelp and I scrape all the businesses that's there so I can call them. Okay, so a marketing company might go on Yelp. To find, but okay, so that's a super, 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 super low percentage, but okay, I can see, I can see Hey, that. just saying okay. my experience. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's, I'm actually so glad you said that. But you would agree with me, the majority of people who 
majority of people that are on Yelp, they're only there for basically one reason, which is to pick a local business because they don't know where to go. Honestly, I would be, um, I see where you're going, but I would need a bit more convincing, not like saying, you know, not trying to be like a hard or anything. I'm just like thinking out loud because the no, thing is. Yeah, argue with me. I love it. Or let's have a conversation. <laughs> That's what this is about because you're going to need to be comfortable with Yelp in order to make a lead comfortable with Yelp when hmm. it comes to investing. So let's have an honest conversation. Okay. All right. So this is my thing. I think Yelp um, niches matter, matter a lot. For example, if it comes to restaurants, um, some bars, uh, Yelp, I would go. I'll check it out. Okay. If it's for a roofer, I'm not too sure how many people go to like you know like Yelp.com and search for a roofer. That's what I'm trying to say. Like you know, I don't know how many people like okay. actually go to Yelp.com and search for a roofer in Yelp's algorithm, like you know Yelp's search bar. Um, if Yelp comes up at the top for when they are looking for roofers for general keywords, which usually doesn't actually happen as much as it used to even last year in my understanding for for the main keywords such as roofer bronx roofing i don't know brooklyn these home advisors do a search on google for the best roofer in the bronx yelp i believe is the number one organic search result all right let me see i'll do the highest um search volume one okay which is a uh, roofing contractors bronx okay but we would when people go to yelp to find the best businesses Like you, we can have a list a mile long of crappy roofers, but people don't want to go to a bad roofer. They want to go to the best roofer. So if they're looking for the best, they're going to type in best roofer in the Bronx or best roofing contractor, however you want to call it. All right, let's do best roofer. Best roofer, um, Bronx, New York. And why? All right. All right, Home Advisor and then Yelp. Okay, no, it's pretty high yeah. up there. Yeah, Yelp, and then it's, it's Yelp, Yelp, and then Angie's List is what I see. Um, and if you want to see a comparison of, of our uh, traffic to Home Advisors in that area, mm -hmm. um, we do about 15 times as much traffic as they do uh, as far as like monthly, uh, monthly hits. So what do you mean by that? Uh, so to give you an example, so nationally, we get almost 100 million unique visits to Yelp.com every month. Okay. And Home Advisor gets maybe about 3 million. But Home Advisor is only for contractors. Right. But who cares? People are still, people, this is, right, they are only for contractors plus their lead base. Like you pay for leads and... Secondarily, even when you pay for a lead and you get the lead, you can still pay for it and still not get business from Home Advisor. And how is Yelp different in that way? Hello? I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? I said, how is Yelp different in that way, in that statement? So, we, you know CPC programs, we're just a CPC program. The, Basically, all Yelp is doing is we're putting Atlas Construction in front of the search for the best roofer at the exact moment that it happens. And if there's no interest in Atlas as the business that, you know, that person who needs a roofer, they, they don't click on the ad and, and Ali doesn't pay for it. Whereas with Home Advisor, even, to even be part of the pool, he has to pay. And then, even after that, he's, he would have to pay more if he gets the lead, and there's no guarantee of that. I, I mean, I don't know if that makes, it does make ahead. sense, but it's one step behind still, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't, I, I kind of see what you're saying. But it's like just, Home Advisor would be, um, you know, they, okay, for example, let's talk about, like you said, CPC, right? Let's say somebody goes uh -huh. and then they fill out a lead form. Home Advisor will distribute that out to the contractors and they would pay only when they get the lead. A click is a step behind getting a lead. A lot of people can even, you know, Google, Google Ads, they'll be able to click you, but that doesn't guarantee the call. Home Advisor at least guarantees a call or slash lead, but then it's not guaranteed job. I mean, there's no really any 
service that can guarantee the job. That would be crazy. That means like that means you guys would have representatives going out to give estimates. Um, oh, we would. Yeah, we would. We would take over the world if we can guarantee work. So at home advice. That's just. It's all about where do you invest for the highest chance of getting the job. Where Where does it make the most sense to put your money? And that's where the differentiation between home advisor and Yelp comes in. Is more people trust Yelp. More people use Yelp. More people go to Yelp. And there's a reason for that because we. I mean, okay, let's go from this. Um, in the Bronx, right? Yeah. How many? Go ahead. Like, is there a? Or it doesn't even have to be in the Bronx. Uh, anywhere around here, right? In a in a in a you know competitive city. Is is there any kind of like hard data on like okay, a roofer spent this much and this is how many leads yeah. they got out of it like that? One hundred percent. So I'll start with I'll start with a couple cool pieces of data that once again, this is what I do. I work with contractors in your area to get them money. That's my job at Yelp. And so first statistic is we've had almost five thousand searches in the immediate area around Atlas Construction past 30 days by people going on the Yelp saying, hey, I need a roofer or a contractor or masonry work done in my area and but I don't know who to go to. Just to stop you there, when you say 5,000 yeah. searches from mm -hmm. people looking for, like, what exactly does that mean? For example, for Bronx, right? All the yeah. main keywords added together, roofing Bronx, roofing contractors Bronx, roof repair Bronx, it comes up to 870, right? You're talking about on Google. Yeah, on Google. So you're saying yeah. 5,000 people went around the Bronx into oh, Yelp.com sure. yeah. and do, searched for roofers. Roofing specifically. Are you ready? This yeah. is specific to roofing on Yelp, past 30 days, immediate area around the Bronx. Over 'Cause Siri's just going directly to Google. It's not giving you Yelp, it's giving you Google, no, right? It's Yelp. It's Yelp. We are integrated into the iPhone. Steve Jobs thinks Yelp is the best thing ever invested. He he is not a fan of Google. I mean, he's passed away now, but you can look up videos on look up the Steve Jobs Yelp video and he'll tell you himself. Let me see. We are integrated into the iPhone. If you do a search with Siri or Apple Maps, it is Yelp results. Like directly from Yelp, like not the ten best roofers, but into the page of the ten best roofers. That's what you're saying. Do you, do you have an iPhone? Yeah, I do. Do it. All right. With Siri, right? Yeah. Oh yes. Oh my God! I just checked my messages. Whoa. Okay. Okay. No, I just got a sale, so I'm super happy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right. So, okay, yeah, uh, let me see if I, I can do Siri. Go ahead. Okay, one second. Hey, it doesn't really let me do it um, because we're on the phone, but I will definitely do it because it's interesting. I really did not know that. Uh, so if that's true, I'll be, um, you know, I'll be sur surprised. That's pretty awesome. Oh, nothing. I just said that I'll check it out later because it doesn't let me do it when I'm on the phone with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's, look at it this way. If I was lying to you right now, that would probably end this conversation pretty quick. Yeah. Once yeah. you do it, you'll, you'll see if you so, All right, okay. So we, we can go off that. If, if that is true, so you're saying that around the Bronx with all the places Yelp is integrated with right now. And by the way, this is something that has to be pretty new, right? Yelp wasn't this advanced, like, let's say even a year ago. Um, let me see, like, 
I'm just giving him ammo to sell me. But you guys see how good this guy is? Damn, man, if I had him. Got it, got it. No, it's pretty awesome. Um, Last question, I guess. Okay, so what kind of like, I know you, it's probably not in your best interest to tell me prices, and I'm not gonna like, you know, tell Ali exactly like, you know, until we go through the presentation because I want to actually see what you guys have to show once we get inside um, but like in terms of ratio like what is the packages to start with like is it like what 300 700 Well, let's say he wants like about, I would say like you'd be super happy if you could get like 10 jobs, but uh, realistically, let's say you can get him at an ad, uh, like five jobs. Now we're talking about jobs, like, you know, that's a lot of things have to come through the loop before a job lands. So um, oh, yeah. what would happen? What would, what kind of like, you know, package are we talking to get about five jobs on top of what he's getting now? <laughs> okay. And we're, t we're talking about, and, and I just want to make sure because a lot of roofing businesses are different. He's looking for full-scale roofing jobs. This isn't just like, hey, come out and do a repair for me. He wants a, like a, a, a re-roof. Hey, I mean, if you can specify like that, that would be amazing. I mean, usually it's pretty hard to only specify replacements, but hey, which roofer would not want to do only replacements all day? I, well, that's what I, and, and that's the thing. When we start a program, like these are the types of questions that make it easier for you and I when we set up the ad program to get him the specific type of clientele that he wants. Got it. So let's say, okay, he wants just replacements. Okay, so he just wants replacements. And currently, I think in the area, most of the workers I work with, that equates out to like a, like a five to seven thousand dollar job. Is that, is, do you think that's where he'd be around? Five to seven thousand dollar job. Um, yeah, you could say that. It's probably a little higher, to be honest, um, as far as I talk to him. But yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so we'll, we'll say just, just to lowball, we'll say about a $7,000 job. And he's looking, he would want to have five jobs per month. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's a lot of roofing business. Like, is he slow right now or something? Like, five full roofing jobs a month? I mean, roofing is, is doesn't take that long. Even a full-scale roofing job takes about, like, three days at most to complete. So let's say like a job a week, you know, that's where we're going to be bringing him. Okay, okay, that's, okay, that's fair, like a job a week. It's just, okay, that's fair, that's fair. So we're looking at, um, you know, at gross revenue, we're looking at about, what is that, $35,000 a month. I'm not sure what his margins are, but average for the industry in that area, it, uh, let's just cut that in half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so we're looking at about, what is that? No, let's say $15,000 in profit per month from these five jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay, the roofing companies that I'm working with right now to get there, they probably have an average daily spend on Yelp between $50 and $100. Something like that. To get in front of that many jobs. Now, considering Damn, that, people are spending a lot of money on Yelp then. Okay. It's I like I, I feel like it's like to me it's it's so like obvious like because I see everything that's happening but I, I can totally understand like from your point of view it's like wait when did Yelp become this powerhouse for home services and it's I, I get it but it's yeah it's, it's around fifty to hundred dollars a day on Yelp to bring in that type of business um, I don't even know if I would recommend that to him like in the end it's like I think what he's gonna come back at you with is like hey. Give me one job, 
Mm -hmm. And then we'll talk about increasing our ad spend. So I would I would say like most 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 tentative roofers and contractors that I work with start somewhere between fifteen and twenty five dollars a day. That's where they start mm -hmm. around to see the program work, to get a return on investment, and then increase their ad spend. Got it. And how do we track that it's uh, um, working? That's why I want to get you in the Yelp for Business Owners account. Okay, like okay. That's, so that's, that's what you want to show me. That's a huge step, yeah. All right, man. I mean, that, that was already a lot of info. Um, let's schedule a time so we can actually see the inside. Yeah, for sure. When are, okay, when are you going to talk to Ali, or when do you think you will? And then when are you available in the next few days for a call back? Um, and I will put something in my calendar. Um... Let's see, Ali, I mean, it really depends when he gets back, probably by tomorrow, I guess. Um, we okay, can do another assume, call, yeah. call like, uh, tomorrow's Thursday, Friday. All right, you can, we can, we can do like Friday, Friday evening, Friday evening. You want to do Friday at like, uh, like four o'clock, Friday at four or five o'clock? Four, let's do a bit earlier, like two. Okay, Friday at two. Yeah. Um, all right, so sense. yeah, when he calls, I mean, he probably, to be honest, he probably won't, like, I probably won't get his card on file, but like, okay. yeah, because I, I mean, I would have to explain to him exactly, like, you know, what we just gonna talk about between today and on Friday into like okay. a two to three minute call, um, and then, which, you know, is kind of hard, I guess, usually, but, you know, after we talk, then he will put his thing on file, and I'll try to just, for him to do it. Um, directly, because, yeah. Okay, perfect. That sounds yeah, great. No. Okay, awesome. All right, any any other questions for me or anything else you want me to look into before I follow up with you on Friday at 2 o'clock? Um, really, I'm just interested to see how the insides look. It's been a while I've seen the inside from the Yelp. Um, if I have a question, it's kind of off topic if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Um, in this kind of deal, right? How much do yeah. you make? <laughs> um, it's my, it's my, it's basically how my commission works mm -hmm. for a deal isn't based really on what you guys do. It's more of like a cumulative thing over time. That's the, the good thing to say. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's There's like no way you're like so good on the phones if you didn't have like a little bit more, I don't know. You're pretty good on the phones, so like, like. I'm That's a, a second amazing like, thing to say. All right, okay. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, I could go work for some company that I have no faith in, that I don't like, and I'm still going to be a good salesperson, but I'm not going to do as like I'm not going to do as well because I don't think I'm helping people. Whereas I look at I look at Atlas Construction, I take a look at the website, it looks awesome, and then I look and I go, man, there's a business four miles away that's literally doing 400 percent more business than them. And all they're doing is investing a little bit on Yelp. And it's like, it's like, why would you not want a piece of that pie? It doesn't make any sense. Man, you're really good. But yeah, no, that sounds good. Um, cool. We'll talk on Friday afternoon. Um, I'll probably try to get his number. I just have to get access to that um, account with his phone number, right? That's all? Yeah, and basically, we just need to get you into the business owner's account. Okay, yeah, sounds good. That's all good. we need to do. All right. Well, all right, man. Well, hey, I really appreciate you giving me some time. No um, I will talk to you on Friday. And... Do you want me uh, to send you like an email with my contact info just in case you need something? Yeah, sure. You can send it over. Um, okay. The, the email that I have on file for you is shivya underscore chowdhury at hotmail.com. 
You can send it to Shibga, just my first name, S-H-I-B-G-A at Hotmail.com. S-H-I-B-Y-A? B, B as in boy, G as in girl, A as in apple. Okay. 